let's review the terminology first. So this is our Unit 2 seminar on powers, and we also call powers exponent rules. Well, the seminar is going to be on exponent rules. So if I have 2 and a little 3 up here, how do I say this out loud? How do I pronounce this? Matthew? 2 to the power of 3. So that means this little number on the top, we often refer to it as a power, or the whole thing can be called a power, or I can say that's the exponent. Power or exponent. And this big number on the bottom is always referred to as the base. Okay, so um, that's our, the terminology we'll be using in the seminar. For our exponent law for multiplication, in your unit guide, it says that when you have two bases that are the same with two different exponents, the formula looks like this. Now, it's really important for me when I'm doing seminars with you to write the formula down, but also to translate it into words. So there are rules that you can say to yourself and memorize, and that will help you remember uh, these rules for the test. So in addition to the formula, please write down the rules. Step one when you're doing this process is you're going to keep the base the same. So why don't you ever you have two separate bases with different with exponents, you want to keep the base the same. And what operation are we going to do with our exponents? What does this tell me to do with the exponents? Keep the base the same and Allegra? Add the exponents. Very good. So we want to add the exponents. Okay, so let's perform this using some examples that you might get in your unit guide. So make sure you have that copied down and then we're going to look at some examples. Since you already did your test, I'm going to give you the activity to work on. Okay. Is there someone at the door? Yes. He went around? Okay. Grade nine for the seminar? Come, come in. Guys, you need to be on time for seminars, though, okay? Oh, okay, now you know. Find a seat. Okay, so I'm going to flip to the next slide. Okay, so let's go over some examples. Let's do first an example that involves numbers. Okay, so can someone tell me, how do I apply the rules to get the right answer? And remember, I'm not just looking for the answer, I'm looking for the process and the steps too, so that I know that you know which rule to apply. So, what am I going to do? Yep, Robin. Yes, but first of all, we want to keep the base the same. And you could always add the exponents in your head, but I need to see your work. So you would actually write negative 4 plus 7. And what is that going to give me? What is negative 4 plus 7? Uh, yes, Joseph? Positive. positive 3. Good. 5 to the power of 3. 
what that really translates to, if we, if in your unit guide sometimes it says to expand it, show all your work to uh, get the final answer, that's the same as 5 times 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is going to give me, Ben, 125. Good. So you can do this using your calculator, or you can use uh, do this in your head. Let's do another example, but this time involving just variables. So I have x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3. How am I going to get the right answer now? x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3. Kiana? So keep the base the same. And what do I do with my exponent? Yes, we're going to add the exponent. So that means my final answer is x to the power of 7. Good. Now, remember, something that is characteristic of this type of question is you have two separate bases that just happen to be the same. I have 1, 2, 1, 2. So keep that in mind. That's when you apply this particular rule. Now we're going to talk about the exponent law for division. A to the power of m, but this time we have divided by a to the power of n. This can also be written as a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. For both of those answers, we are going to get this formula. a to the power of m minus n. So can someone tell me how am I going to write this rule? Yep. Okay, good. That's my first step. I'm glad you started with that. Keep the base the same. And now, what do I do with my powers, with my exponent? Uh, Robin? Okay, good. We're going to subtract the exponent. So keep the base the same, and we're going to subtract the exponent. So let's do some questions involving this. I have negative 2m to the power of 15 divided by negative 2m to the power of 7. So if I apply my rule, we're going to keep the base the same, negative 2m, and we're going to subtract the exponents. What is 15 minus 7 going to give me? 15 minus 7, Matthew? 8. So I have negative 2m to the power of 8. Okay, we're going to come back to this type of question because notice this is called the power rule because I can actually take that 8 and I can apply it to both my negative 2 by everything inside the brackets, okay? But we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Let's do one more division question. 